it's geared towards the music industry and how things work with that, uh, how they work with it. And I'll, I'll just get into it. I don't want to. I don't want to say the actual poem and then say okay and then say the poem. So I, I won't. I won't be a spoiler. Okay. What's in your headphones? As the bass vibrates your eardrums, your love for God has grown cold and you don't know where the chill came from. But somewhere along the lines, between heavy bass lines and hypnotic lyrics, you lost your light. Now it makes sense why you submerged in darkness trying to wake up like it's a bad dream when the reality is you were played by the beat. You dance when you hear it like a puppet because you are not in control of your movements. The latest dance you emulate manipulate your current mind state like comedic yoga. This is truth in poetry. Demons are submerged in the music. Their heart beats when the bass beats banging on the door of your heart, wanting you to let them enter. Them left of them spirits just want to be worshipped. Ever wonder what made Kanye West? Stop walking with Jesus. Start calling himself Jesus and rocking Horus pieces. Deceit comes, but you first must fall away like autumn leaves, and now you are being attacked mm -hmm. strategically to the point when you can't even pinpoint when you left God or why you left God. But I find it kind of odd that when the lyrics flood at your heart, <laughs> it drowns your love for God. What's in your headphones? True. And I don't mind is the, is the devil's playground. Mm -hmm. So while you listening to catchy lyrics, it's putting your mind in a trance and allowing them demons to take control of your spirit. Ever wonder why you can't get a catchy song out your head when you hear it? It's called hypnosis, and it's slowly controlling your emotions while you listen. Because it takes no thought to repeat a hook. And that's why it's called a hook, because you bite every time. And while you're reciting every line, it's emptying out your mind and leaving a vacancy for the devil to take his place while you bob your head to the bass stage. Say it's just harmless. It's just music, but it's not harmless. And when the music causes a movement to disrespect God, you got to start to wonder what was the influence that made Jay-Z's rock turn into a pyramid? Why are you so clueless? This is not just music. When coach symbolism is infused in performances and videos, this is an attack. And you just singing along to your enslavement. Like slaves on a ship talking about how fly they chains is or how hard they master's whip is. A pawn will sell their soul just to be called a king. This is a mass deception like the Pope and the Vatican. Started by the enemy and purported by money hungry celebrities that sold their souls to rap and sing for the world. Now they trapped crying for help in their lyrics and you just sing along with them like you enjoy watching their torture. How twisted is our culture when we fund their tormentors to produce music to enslave the masses. It's tragic like a fall in a child abuser when he was caught in the act. Can you even fathom that? There is GMOs in the food, fluoride in the water, and demons in the music. And you just yes. bob your heads to it as it plays through your headphones.